Every day we make choices. Some choices are simple, others more complex. But all choices have consequences. I wanted to be around football. Darren Jackson had his career completely planned out. Play Division I football, then be a coach. I was going to be a high school coach at a Christian high school. Darren had a plan, but so did God. And his plan began revealing itself in high school. I was having a pretty good game. I had already had two interceptions. Coming out of halftime, on the kickoff, nobody touched me. Boom, just ACL torn. Darren's high school football career came to an end, and so too did any college scholarship opportunities. There was a low point, and I was like mad, frustrated. You know, God, why are you doing this to me? Um, you know, what did I do? Um, why me? But God always does things for a reason. You want to question it, but you know not to question it because he knows what he has in mind. What his plan and will is for you is going to set you up for success. Darren's knee would heal and he would be given the opportunity to play football again, even if it meant starting at the bottom. Some people are like, oh, walk on, but hey, you know your limits and you, you know where you fit in at and you know where you help the team at. And I was very you know, fortunate and happy for the opportunity to be a walk on for sure. Darren was enjoying his time at Liberty, but his grades began to suffer. I was not a scholar. I was, I was average at best. And so my grades started slipping, and so I didn't get what I needed to get for eligibility for football. Darren would transfer out of Liberty, get his grades in order, return to Liberty, graduate, and even get married. He would then join the coaching carousel. First stop, the apprentice school. I'm the linebackers coach, and I am green. These young men, they're working a full-time job at a trade school, taking classes, and then playing college football at the same time. After my third year, I ended up getting a job at University Christian. Darren would serve as a science teacher and a linebackers coach. He would even help guide University Christian to a state championship. I realized that I love kids and, and I love coaching, but I don't know if the classroom setting is, is for me, which is nothing wrong with that. Next stop, Trinity Bible College. I'm getting calls left and right. Don't take this job. You don't want to go up there. They haven't been successful. You realize they lost to Rockford University. You know, that's one of the worst losses in college history. Sure, you want to head up there. And I said, I believe in myself. I believe in God giving me this opportunity. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to coach those young men up. I get into the first team meeting. 32 kids walk in there. We finished that season at four and seven. And you're okay, okay, it is a losing season, but that's a win when you're coming into the season with 32 players, for sure. When the season ended, Darren was on the move again, heading back east to Campbellsville University. But as soon as he arrived, Liberty called. Finished out spring at Campbellsville, didn't even unpack a box. We packed the truck back up and we had to Liberty. It was great. They acknowledged that I had been a head coach before. They asked me questions about how I did things at the school I was at as a head coach. Darren would spend two seasons at Liberty learning new skills and philosophies before hitting the road again. He and his family would crisscross the country a few more times before settling in Sterling, Kansas. Darren is now the head football coach at Sterling College and believes there's no doubt his time at Liberty helped mold him into the coach he is today. Being around them and using a lot of their philosophies and how they coach has been very great in how I operate with my team. <laughs> Off the thing, come on, big dog. There you go. And just understanding how to be a professional, but not just a professional, but a, a Christian coach in the profession. Don't put your Christianity on the back burner when you touch the field. That's where all the eyes are on you. Make that separation as you're going, getting better. If I didn't tear my ACL, who knows where I would've ended up at. Good, 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 good. It was a downfall that turned into a blessing for sure. A blessing that took Coach Darren Jackson on a journey with God guiding him every step of the way.